Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be playing one of the Duolingo uh, chess bots. Um, just the last one, Duo, just because it's the hardest. But uh, I'm planning on beating it. Um, basically what I've done is, I played a normal game against the bot, but then um, obviously I lost. And then basically like, it seems that the bot, at least with the opening I've played, which is the Polish. Um, it keeps playing the same moves. So I pretty much memorized almost the whole game. So like, this is how my first game went. And I'll let you know uh, when I play the computer move because I just analyzed with Stockfish. Duo is so silly, like with what it's saying. Okay. Um, take here. Then e3, and then knight comes out, and then I just bring the bishop back. They castle, then I are, yeah, okay, so, and then I just bring the knight out, then they castle, right? And then I just, I castle myself. They play here eventually. Yeah, they play now, and then I, I don't know why duo plays there, because that, it just gives me a tempo, because I play d4 now. Then I just play c4, and the whole point of a6 was to prevent bishop here, or not prevent it, but like um, once I take, they go uh, b5, and then I drop back. And then, yeah, so basically, I'm still in my game. I played, I think, I don't think I played here. Okay, so what I played was this, which I think was, I can't remember if it was, no, wait, did I play this? I don't think I did. I think I played this, which was an inaccuracy. Because I got to play this first, which prevents like anything coming here. And then now when I play this, it forces the bishop to go back here. And then, so like these are all computer moves that I've memorized. So um, since the bishop's off this diagonal, now I can go to queen b1. I, th I guess there's ideas of like maybe bringing the bishop and going on there. But I mean... I'm not going to understand all of it since their computer moves. Okay, so now I it said rook e1. So, like, I'm just going to play it, right? And then, um, yeah, and then duo played that. And I lost, like, here. I think I went here and then knight here. So I had to go a3 first before going here. <coughs> yeah, so I, I think I followed, like, um, like this wasn't really a computer move. Like I knew that was an idea eventually. Um, yeah, this was supposedly an inaccuracy according to Stockfish. Um, I think it was because it was, I can bring the knight back. Is it now? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's now. And then I don't know what lingo, I mean, duo, they put the knight here, but I can just take and then bring the bishop out here. Um, I, these are computer moves. I didn't see any of this. Um, and then you go here to prevent trades. Okay, so here you go e4. And the whole idea is you're going to push these pawns up and create an attack on the king side. So when queen's attack, you just slide over. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do if knight here. I don't know if I'm supposed to take or, or go like d5 or e5. But anyway, it doesn't matter because... Uh, the bot always just plays before, so I, you just, I mean, this was, um, like the only move, but yeah, you go b2. Here, you go e5, I believe, and then they drop back, you go here, you go, uh, d5, e6, and you just have a huge attack, and there's some pretty cool tactics, so they're gonna take, right? I don't even know why they don't trade. Like, I I don't understand all of it. Maybe there's some kind of checkmate, right? But, yeah, yeah. so duo always goes here, but now you can take, right? And they can't take the queen because it's going to be checkmate, which is kind of funny. Um, so now we have, like, we're down a full piece, right? But we've got this huge attack on the king. Um, so you play... Queen g5, and then, yeah, they play here, so you gotta take to pin the bishop, and then eventually they get their queen over uh, this way, but first they block, right, because 
Uh, there was some other, well, obviously checkmate was threatened. So they defended against mate, stopped the pawn. But here you go, let me just try to remember. You go rook d1. Um, and then the queen will go, yeah, here. I, w I don't know why it's hard for me to see that move. But yeah, they go here, here, and then they go there. Um, but the only move to keep an advantage is knight g5. Um, and then you go here. So the whole idea of knight g5 is you block the rook from def um, defending the mate. Um, so now they have to go here, right? And then here, you're supposed to, you don't want to trade queens because I mean you have no attack. So you go queen g4. Um, I think it's the only move. I don't think I don't think uh, queen g3 was any good. Okay, here I can play this. Um, after I play, okay, yeah. So I I've gotten like I for I I've forgotten this move sometimes. Like I I've I've never played rook d7, but I was like I was like is it now? It's like no, because you play h4, I guess. I'm The idea is, I guess, just luft. But duo goes off of the... I mean, doesn't duo doesn't have that many moves, so they go there, right? But now I can go rook d7. And remember, these are all computer moves. Like, I've, and I didn't find any of these moves. Like, I kept blundering, so this is probably, like, over my... Ten, this is I've played more than 10 games for sure. This is like, it doesn't do anything, but Duo doesn't really have any moves. Um, here I'm supposed to go, I believe, Rookie 4. Um, I think the idea is eventually sliding the Rook over in some situations. But anyway, like, now they go here, right? Let me try to remember the move. Let me try to remember. Oh, yeah, okay. So the best move is Rook D5. And then I think they just sack here. From what I remember, yeah. You take, they take, uh, or no, no, they did some of the bishop, I think. Or the king, yeah, the king takes the knight. Here, let me try to remember. Um, trade. They said trade was best. Okay, so I've got that right. Here, I think I'm supposed to go rook of five. I'm trying to remember. It was rookie five, but let me just see the line. So if I here, there's probably some kind of checkmate, right? I would think. And then if they go like, let's say back, I can, which they should do, right? I can take and then go rook there. So yeah, that's the line. So rook here, they go here, I take with the bishop and then I go here. And then I'm just winning. But this is the furthest I've ever gotten. I didn't see uh, the line where I trade the rooks. Um, you know, when there were two rooks, I think, on the board? Or there was two? Yeah, there were two rooks, and I, you're supposed to trade. Or was it just one? No, there were two. Um, and you trade one of the rooks. Right after uh, black takes the knight. But um, now I go rook here. Here I'm supposed to take with the queen. And if they go here, I th there was like some kind of winning the bishop, I believe. Here, let me try to remember. Uh, I think it wanted just h5. I could also take the pawn. I remember the line was either h5 or takes. I don't think it was takes. I think it was h5. Let me just go h5. Okay. Do I just go, I think I just go h6, you know, we're just gonna, okay, now I think we take the pawn first, perhaps, wait, do I win the bishop here? Yes, let's win the bishop. Um, that's just, mm, I'm gonna have to give up a pawn though. Okay, if I take the pawn, takes takes um okay takes takes i don't know take or check check take i need to get rid of these pawns first let me think take or takes there takes i need to get this pawn so i need to check on this diagonal or i could go there and then if here 
Uh, this pawn's weak. Here, we'll just take here. Maybe I just go, uh, I think, I think it was maybe here. There's no way of defending the pawn, I believe. No checks I don't think are useful. I think I just go here. And that's a check. I didn't even realize that was a check. <laughs> Knight needs to be defended. Okay, I should win this. Okay. Just double check. Okay. Take. Knight. We should be able to win it. Yep. We'll cut off the king and we'll just play some simple chess. Like we'll just uh push that pawn. I'll just bring the king up. We'll push this pawn. Just play simple chess. I don't need to play super accurately. Could be a checkmate somewhere, but okay, we're gonna go here. They're gonna go there. Hmm. I still don't see the checkmate, but we'll just promote a queen. Make sure there's no stalemates. Is there a stalemate? I mean, there's no way they're gonna force me to take the pawn, so. Where's the checkmate? Check here, mate. Yep, all right. Okay, I mean, uh, <laughs> it's not really like, it's not really as funny because low depth stockfish thinks I made errors, but I pretty much played like an engine. Um, it's probably the end game, you know, obviously it wasn't engine like, but you can't say that there were any mistakes or blunders in that. I have some words for you that they won't let me teach you on Duolingo. Yo, chill, bro. Um, I was going to say, I think it's the openings like I've saw I've seen other games where duo will make blunders but like I get at least against the Polish the main line it doesn't make any blunders um so I guess you know there's no real advantage for white in the Polish you know it's a little better for black but it should be a draw with perfect play um but obviously this bot plays at low depth, right? So using Stockfish at a higher depth, you know, I'm going to be able to beat it. Especially because I've got the whole game memorized. And it literally plays the same moves. So you could literally just beat the bot like this. Like, literally could pre-move the whole game. Um, but yeah, that's this video. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.